friends welcome back to our show you guys this is gonna be a story time I do not like how my camera is setting um, I'm gonna try to move you guys a little bit I just filmed another video so if you guys see a couple of videos with me wearing my nighttime attire I'm sorry so today's video is going to be a cheery video i'm going to share with you guys it is a story time actually um well i feel it's a story time so there is a gentleman in this area i don't even know his real name we call him santa claus um he goes around he actually has a vehicle you guys with the reindeer down the side and the sleigh and he really looks like Santa Claus. I'm not, I'm not kidding at all. Well, every year they've made, he's made the newspaper several times. Um, the newspaper, who gets that now, right? Um, but he has made the newspaper several times because he has been doing this for many, many years. And what he does is he goes in stores and when he feels the urge I guess or I don't know if he feels the person out or what he does but he hands them either a hundred dollar bill or he hands out gift certificates so I always find that to be a wonderful story to tell this time of year um, the generosity thing it it really it humbles me to know that there's somebody out there um, that does kind things like that. Um, I'm not sure where he's from or anything like that, but me and M see him out and about quite frequently, actually. Um, and his license plate even says claws on it. Um, <coughs> excuse me, guys. So, yeah, that is what he does. He goes around, and he doesn't just do... Um, our area he does quite a few different areas in this state and that's what he does he'll go to different places and he will hand things out so to me that is very it's very gratifying you know what I mean it makes you feel good to know that there's people out there that do that um, also um, He's one person that I know um, that does that. I wish I knew more about him. Like, I don't know his name or anything like that. I just know that he goes around and um, he does that stuff. Um, okay, I'm back, guys. So, yes, that was the story that I wanted to share with you guys a, a small little story of uh, a gentleman that goes around and does things like that. Now, I am going to tell you guys something that happened with me and M. Now, I was very embarrassed, and you guys can let me know if you guys are like this. I am the type of person that I like to give. I will give freely if if I can help, I will do that. But I have a hard time receiving back. Um, I don't know what that's called or if it's even called anything or who else is like that out here. Um, I know I'm not the only one. Well, me and M went to Shaw's one day to do some grocery shopping. Well, smart me, I thought that I had enough money on my debit card to purchase what we had gotten and long and behold I did have money I had just gone over some and I thought I had more I think it was Amazon ended up ripping out their my prime membership before they were supposed to or something I don't know I can't remember something ended up coming out that I had forgotten about or came out before time and the lady that was bagging our stuff, well, I told the cashier, I said, well, then I'll just put this back. And the lady that was bagging our stuff said, oh, no, you're not going to, dear. I'm paying for that. And it was like, I can't even remember. 
what it was like what $13 13 to $14 <clears throat> um and you guys I felt horrible I kept telling her no it's okay you know I felt bad that I was putting something back but I kept telling her no it's okay I can just come back and you know get it tomorrow or whatever and she insisted on paying that and I'm the same way if I had the means the money and somebody needed something in front of me I'd do the same thing so I understand where she's coming from because I would have done the same thing but I felt horrible I felt absolutely horrible horrible that I did not have extra on that card. Um, I was so mad at myself. Why did I end up getting blah, blah, blah. That's what's going on in my head the whole way to the car. I was thankful that she paid for me, but it was embarrassing to me, I guess. Um, so yeah, let me know you guys down in the comments. Like, has anything ever happened to you where somebody just walked walked up and did something kind um, for you or maybe you've had the same experience you went over a little bit and the person in front of you ended up paying you know this is the time of the year to be you know thankful and I always feel blessed I always look at the world as, and I've always told M this, somebody out there is always worse off than you are. And if you have a mindset of that, that the, it could be worse or there's somebody else that's worse off than you, it just makes things better. Like, yeah, I may not have had that $12 to pay for groceries then, but, you know, a year from then, I can go pay for groceries for somebody else, so I'm blessed. Do you see what I'm saying? So if you guys have any stories like that, please share them in the comments, because I like hearing about stuff like that. I wish that I had an old paper, um to read to you guys about that Santa Claus um, man that drives around because I would like to be able to tell you guys, um, read to you guys some of the things that he's done and how grateful people have um, been. I actually felt so good. Um, it was a few years back now. Um, I ended up blessing a family. Um, it is somebody that I knew that had um, three children and she could not do Christmas for them that year and I was able to bring her into the store and let her pick out some things for her her kids so they at least had something under the tree so it, it it's very hard for people I guess or some people to ask for help um, whereas you know there's always going to be somebody that wants a free handout all the time but I try not to look at it that way um, but I always feel great when I'm able to help somebody and I guess I'm hoping that there are still people out there that would do the same thing even if it means opening leaving a door open for somebody um like when this all first started the whole you know sickness um m used to always i always taught her to leave the door open for, you know to see if there's somebody behind you and leave the door open and, you know, she was scared thinking, you know, when that all happened that she would get sick if she did that. And that's one thing I will say. She never stopped doing during all of that whole thing. And even now, she still will hold the door open for somebody if somebody is behind her. Um, that's the way I was always raised. If there's somebody behind you. Uh, you leave the door open, you know, especially 
like if it is an elderly person, if they need help, you help them. Um, so that's the way I was taught. That's what I've always done um, with M. So yeah, if you guys, just one little thing of kindness, you guys, you would be surprised because you don't know what somebody else is going through. You know, you could open that door for, for um, somebody and maybe somebody this morning, you know, maybe that person had something terrible happen that morning or, you know, and then that just made their day. Who knows? So, yeah, always spread some kindness. So, with that being said, guys, that's kind of my story. I don't know what you guys really would call it, but I wanted to um, share that with you guys about that gentleman because that that is crazy. I mean, he does, this is something he does every single year, and as far as I know, it is his own money. It's not like he raises money and then walks around and does that. This is something that he does um, with his own money. Um, so yeah, and I enjoy watching videos like that on YouTube too. Um, I don't know if some of you guys uh, watch stuff like that, but there are a lot of bigger um, YouTubers that do some very wonderful things for their communities. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that. So with that being said, me or M will catch you guys in the next video. Um, remember, be kind, stay safe, and be blessed. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.